What's up, baby? It's 40 from Can't Stop Art. Today we are doing a quick video to show you how to remove leftover wax from a used candle. You might want to use the glass. I mean, anyway, candles come with really nice glass. Usually you can use it for a storage container or use it for an art project. So let's get started. This is super simple. Over here, I have an example, right? So I'm gonna show you. This is the one that I ended up taking the wax out of. When you look inside here, you don't see any wax because it's easy and it's perfect, baby. This is the one that we're going to do today in the video. There's just a little bit of leftover wax. There's a thing that holds the wick in there. And all you really need is a boiling water. So I have a cup here with regular water in it. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes, right? So, <laughs> two seconds to go, baby, and we are done. Let's take it out. And probably you should use some type of mitt or something. Uh, or anyways, this thing is for sure hot. It's actually not boiling. However, I think it's gonna be okay, huh? So I'm gonna take this almost boiling water. I'm gonna pour it here. And after I pour that almost boiling water in there, look what's happening, right? There's a reaction. And the next thing I'm going to do with this reaction is I'm going to give it a second, then I'm going to take a knife or something, and I'm just going to scrape around on the bottom, right, to loosen things up. That's it. So after I've, so like, for example, if you had a little bit more wax in there, you'd be breaking it apart. That hot water should make it fairly easy. Maybe you wait 30 seconds or a minute. I didn't have any big pieces of wax on the bottom, but if I did, I would have waited maybe a minute or 30 seconds, then I would have scraped it, it would have came loose. I wouldn't have tried to take it out at that point. I'd just leave it like this. I'd go wait, I don't know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, it depends. I'm gonna stop the camera right now. We'll be back in 15 to 30 minutes whenever I see that the wax has risen to the surface. At that point, we will scoop the wax off the surface, pour the water out, clean it up, and boom, it's done, baby. <laughs> Super easy, I told you. So we'll see you in 15 to 30 minutes. So it's been like 15 or 20 minutes, baby. Come check this out. You can see like a slight film on top. One of the issues here is that there's not a lot of wax in here, huh? So what I'll probably do first is grab a spoon and just kind of go over the top to look to see what I can pull out. You see that? That's all wax, huh? And what I can do is just drop that right here see if there's anything else. That's pretty good, you know. I could dump the water. And here, this is the, 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 the wick holder. And if you see, there's really nothing here. Let me step in front of you, camera person, and let me get in here. Sorry about the dishes, I just did the dishes. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of soap and then it'd help if it was open. <laughs> And after I hit it with some soap, we're just gonna clean the inside of this and you're gonna see, it's amazing. It's already, it's already good to go, right? Now, had you have had more wax inside the candle, uh, there would be more wax floating on the top, right? I did not have very much wax on this particular one. On the previous one I did, it formed a, a hard layer of wax on the top, huh? This, <laughs> this water is not even hot right now. Now, I still have to take the label off the bottom. So I'm gonna do that later. I just want to show you how super perfect that this came out. Grab a paper towel or two, put it in this puppy. There we go, I go through way too many paper towels. Probably this is a waste, right? I should be using a regular towel. But okay, we're in the video. I want it to be as quickly dried as possible. I mean, so ch check this out, right? I mean, this is perfect. So now we can use this as storage, maybe for some pencils, maybe for some beads, maybe for some rhymes, I don't know, whatever you want. Or you could turn this into an art project. Check out some of my videos on doing things with glass bottles or other types of glass. You can do it with this. I hope you found this quick tip useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Until next time, I'm out.